Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a great one for you. Here's Buttercup. She says hi to. She'll probably be in and out of the workout. Don't worry about it. Mainly she just looks at me funny and wondering what the hell I'm doing. Anyway, today I have a good one for you. We have three combo exercises for you, but don't worry. We are going to get a good one. We are going to be burning fat, burning calories, getting strong, getting toned, and just getting moving. All right, what you're gonna need, guys, is a light pair of weights. I recommend between five or eight pounds. If you don't have weights, don't worry about it. You can use anything around your house. You just wanna make sure it is of equal weight on both sides. Or, you don't have to do weights at all. This is your workout, make it work for you, however that looks. Grab your weights, please. You wanna hold them right like that. That is called a hammer hold. We're going to open up our legs nice and wide. We're going to have our toes painted, uh, painted, pointed forward, and we're going to engage those abs nice and tight, slightly moving our hips forward. This is ensuring that we are protecting our spine, our core, and our hip area. All right, you guys, this is the first combo move. I'm going to show it to you first. We're going to hammer, curl, and step touch. So it's going to look like this, hammer, curl, step touch hammer curl step touch then we're going to twist our palms up while raising on our toes for calf raises and doing a regular curl right like that all right come and join me here we go hammer curl step touch hammer curl step touch raise on those toes curl nice we're curling we're step touching we're raising up there we go this is the first combo move right here guys number one Side to side, curl it up. Side to side, and curl it up. Nice job, guys. Keep it going. We're just gonna go side to side here. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure those abs are engaged. You're taking your time. You don't wanna go too fast with this movement. Everything is gonna be nice and controlled today and curl it up hello buttercup nice curl up all right you guys we have four more of these and we're going to move on to our next move curl it up nice don't forget to raise up on those heels now if you can't raise up on those heels that is okay just give me that curl all right you guys next move our feet are going to be together all right, feet together, knees together, legs together. You're gonna stand up nice and tall, gauging those abs as always. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a shoulder side lift out to the side up to a T while stepping back. It's gonna look like this. All right, and then while bending the back leg and bringing our arms down underneath that front knee and then right back up here. We are gonna alternate. All right, you guys, you ready? Join me. Step it back, raising those arms, bend that back leg, bring it up, and then forward. Other side, really step back far. You wanna protect those knees. You don't want that knee to go over those toes. So here's a side view of me doing it. I'm stepping out nice and wide, so when I go down, you see how my knee is nice and uh, straight? That's what you're looking for. Uh, I had to think about what side I just did. <laughs> and down, and then up. Step it back, down, and then up. Nice, guys. Lift it up, and then down. I don't want to hit Buttercup. She looks like she wants to sit right where I am. <laughs> Bringing it down, back up. Bringing it down, back up. Lift up. Nice job, guys. One more time, bring it up, and there we go. All right, now our third move is going to not, it's gonna be very simple, all right? Not gonna be hard. We're gonna put our weights right up here at our shoulders. Our elbows are gonna be nice and tucked into our bodies. We're gonna be nice and wide with our legs. Toes are facing forward. Opposite hand is gonna go up while the opposite knee goes up. It's gonna look like this right like that, flex foot. We're gonna go down. The arm that just went up is not gonna go across. So you see how I'm twisting and I'm punching down towards my opposite toes. 
I'm going to come right back up here. And then it's going to go the other side. Opposite arm, opposite knee, flex leg, down, crossover punch. Right like that. All right, you guys, you ready? Come join me. Here we go. Lift it up, down, cross it over. Now, if you can't lift up, you can always do this, step touch, bring it back, cross it over. All right, or you can go up just a little if you like. If you want to try that, that works as well. But bring it up if you can, bring it down, cross it over. Bringing it up, bring it down, cross over. Make sure that stomach's in nice and tight. Make sure that foot is flexed when it comes up. If you're choosing to put your knee up all the way. If not, don't worry about it. You can always do this. Just a friendly reminder. You can stop, touch it. That works just as well. Or a light knee. Also works. Oops, I did it wrong side. Light knee. Ooh, I don't want to hit her. Here we go. Up with that knee. Bring it down. Cross it over. Up with that knee. Bring it down. Cross it over. One more on each side. Here we go. Make it strong, guys. Up and down. Nice job. All right, everybody, go get a drink. I'm going to have to click go because she has to go outside. I'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Round two. Here we go. We're going to be nice and wide. Engage those abs. Let me move my hair out of my face. All right. Just a friendly reminder, we are step touching with a hammer curl, and then we're going to raise up while double curling our arms. All right, you guys, here we go. Hammer step touch, hammer step touch, calf raises, and down. Now, if you cannot do the calf raises, you don't have to. Just stay right here and curl. Hammer, hammer, and then curl if you can't do that calf raise. If you can, want those heels off that ground. Here you go. Lift it up and then down. Nice job, guys. Step touch with a hammer. Curl it up. Nice. Squeezing those calf muscles. That's the muscle on the bottom of the back of your leg. While you are going up, twist those wrists up when you are doing the double curl. This is a hammer. And that's regular. Nice job, guys. We got four more. Four. This is going to be three, two, and one. Nice job, guys. All right, that next one is going to be a back lunge with our arms up. We're going to lunge it back, bending our back knee, bringing our arms down to the front knee. All right, you guys ready? I said back knee, I meant back leg. Just watch me. Here we go. We're going to step back, raise those arms, bend that back knee, bringing the arms down to the front knee, bring it back up. Here we go. Step it back. Bend. There we go. Step it back. Bend. Remember with this one, I want you to make sure you're stepping way back, okay? Don't do a shallow step back. We want to protect those knees and that leg. Make sure your chest stays up. Keep looking at me. You don't want to slouch over like this. That's not what I'm looking for. Keep that chest up. All right, you guys, we have two more. And the last one. Nice. All right, guys. Now for our last move. Feet are open. Elbows close to that body. You're holding those weights right by that uh, shoulder, but don't rest them on it. Mine is not touching my shoulder. It's just really near it. Keep those elbows in nice and tight. We're going to lift up opposite arm, opposite knee. Now, if you want to do the same, go right ahead. If that's just going to make life easier for you, go right ahead. No big deal. Flex feet though. Lift up that knee right here. Now, the arm that came down is going to twist towards that bottom toe and bring it right back up. All right, here we go. Opposite knee, opposite arm. Down. Now, if you want to do the same, it looks like this, but you're still crossing over with that same arm, okay? So however you choose, go right ahead. Just make sure the same arm that goes down, that goes up, goes down and crosses over. Nice job, guys. 
keeping that foot flexed when you bring it up. Now just a friendly reminder for those of you who can't do the knee, just step touch, cross it over. Step touch, cross it over. I do want a slight bend though. If you see me from the side, I do have a slight bend in my knee. I do would like you to do that though if you are choosing this one or just do a little knee lift. Doesn't have to be that big, but I still want that foot to be flexed. All right, for the rest of you, bring it up, cross it over. Bring it up, cross it over. All right, we have two more. Up and over. Up and over. Whoo, nice job, guys. Go get a quick drink and then come back and meet me here. It is water break time. I'm going to time us. All right, go get that drink, go get that drink. And then we have one more set for a total of three. We are burning calories, we are burning fat. We are getting moving, strong, strength, tone. Let's get ready for that summer body. I know I'm ready to hang out in the sun, on the beach, by the pool, in my swimsuit. Woo wee. All right, you guys, you ready? Let's stand nice and wide. Grab your weights again if you haven't. And here we go. Side just touch with a hammer. Here we go. Side touch, side touch. Raise up on those toes if you can. Give me a double curl. Hammer, hammer, up curl. Remember though, if you can't do a calf raise, that's okay. Just give me just a regular curl and just stand still right here. Just keep those heels down. But if you can, I want you to raise up on those heels, really squeezing those calf muscles and those biceps when you're curling them up and lift, nice. Great job, guys. Ooh, we are almost there. This is our last set, guys. We are knocking it out of the park and then we will be done for our exercise for today. And up. All right, you guys, here's our countdown. Four more. Four. Three. two, last one, and one. Nice. All right, I'm going to shake that out for myself. Woo! All right, guys, we are going to stand with our feet together, feet together, knees together. We're going to step back, raising our arms up, going down to a back lunge and alternating sides. Here we go. Step it back, way far, bring it down, bring it back up. Step it back, bring it down, and up. Make sure before you step back, your arms go back down right like that. And then bring them up, bring it down, up, and then down. Up, bring it down, bring it back up, down. Nice job, guys. Alternating sides. Ooh. Step it back, bring it down. Nice. Up, down. Woo, here we go, step it back. You guys, I am feeling this one. Step it back, down, and up. All right, this is the last one. Woo, oh my goodness, who else's shoulders are on fire? Oh boy, I feel mine. All right, you guys, here is our last move. Have those legs wide again. Get those arms up, weights near that sh uh, shoulder, but not on top of it. Elbows are gonna stay nice and tight. Opposite arm, opposite leg, or you can do the same leg, same arm, it don't matter. Here we go, lift it up, bring it down, cross it over. Lift it up, bring it down, cross it over. Stomach in nice and tight, especially when you're doing this crossover. Oh, you guys, this is a great one for those abs. Woo! I can feel my six pack right here, crunching right there. Make sure those feet are nice and flexed. Just a friendly reminder for those of you who don't want to do the knee, just bring it in, cross it over. Just remember to have a slight bend in that knee when you go over, slight bend, 
and then cross it over. Nice job, guys. Keep it going. We have four more. Here's four. You can also do a shallow knee. That works too. Woo! I lost count. So let's just do two more. Here we go. I'm not gonna lie, I was waiting. I was looking to see if Buttercup wanted to come in and I lost track of my count. All right, you guys, that's it. Ditch your weights. Woo! We made it through another workout. I am super proud of you guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me. And well, just thanks for always showing up and working out with me. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me. I hope it helps you as well. Let's go knee to knee. You can either hold on to something on the side or you can have your arm up or in front of you. That helps with balance if you have balance issues. If not, just grab that back of that um, foot, bring it knee to knee. Or you can also put your foot up on a chair or a couch or whatever you have around you. Or you can even grab your pants or your shoe if you need to. All right, switch sides. Nice job, guys. All right, step one leg all the way back for me. I want you to do a really far step, okay? That heel should be up behind you. Front knee, I want you to go down nice and low, keeping that chest up. Look forward in front of you. Make sure your hand's not by that knee. Bring it up on that thigh. Slowly bend down on that back knee right like this. Put your toes down, see how my toes are gonna go down flat now, and I'm going to push forward. Again, don't have your hands by that knee. Put it back on that thigh, and just look forward. All right, tuck back up on that toe. Let's stand up nice and slow, keeping that back down. Now I want you to force that heel down on the ground, straighten this front leg, I want you to slowly go down, keeping that back flat. Go down as far as you can to keeping that back flat and just hold. This is as far as I can go or else I'll start bending my back. I want to keep that spine as straight as possible and slowly come up. Nice job, guys. We're going to do the other side. Put that leg in front, other leg behind you. Heel is up. Front knee, go down and forward and hold. Chest is up, look straight. I'm looking at you guys because while you're here with me, I gotta make sure you're doing it. Keep that um, hands up by that thigh area. Make sure it's not down by that knee. All right, let's bend this back knee now. Bring it down to the ground. Those toes go flat down right like that. And now you're gonna go forward again with that, um, with your front knee, just lean forward. Really feeling that stretch in that hip area. Watch your placement of your hands, bring it down on your thigh. Nice job. All right, curl up those toes again. Come on up, keep that leg behind there. Push down on the heel now. Straighten that front leg. Slowly go down, keeping the chest up, back straight. Go down as far as you can before, oh see I can't even go down that far on this side. Well, I'm only to my knee before your back wants to curl. One side will be tighter than the other. Clearly, this is my tight side. This is as far as I can go, guys. That's okay, I'm still getting a good stretch. All right, and release. Nice job, guys. Turn those toes out right like that, side to side. All right, I want you to be nice and open. Hands in that inner thigh. We're gonna open up those Knees, bending those knees, coming down. I want you to open it up. So I'm actually putting pressure on, not my knees, my upper inner thigh, very close to my knees, but I'm not on my knees. And open, drop one shoulder. Nice, back to the middle. Drop the other shoulder. Also make sure your back is nice and straight for this one, guys. And down, I want you to drop all the way down, keeping that back flat. Drop that head, curl, and up. Nice job, guys. All right, we're gonna do arm rolls to the back, nice and big, up and around. We're gonna alternate. I want you to go really slow with these. We're just gonna do a couple on each side. All right, now we're gonna go the other way. So bring it forward, forward, 
Nice. One more. Great. All right, I want you to lace your hands behind you and I want you to pull down. Do not pull up. I want you to pull down, chest up, shoulder blades are being squished together. If you can, if you don't have neck issues, look up. Now I have spine issues, so I'm going to look forward. That's okay. And pull down. I want you to pretend I'm pulling those arms behind you. And release. Now we're going to lace them together. We're going to go forward. Now I don't want you to bend at the hip area, okay? Now what I'm doing is my upper back. It's almost like somebody punched me in the gut, okay? So I want you to go forward right like this. Drop that head. And it's just that upper body. And again, I want you to pretend I am pulling those arms. Like I'm grabbing them and I'm pulling them gently towards me. And hold. And release. Nice job, guys. As always, I want to end with a cooling breath. We're going to do long inhales through our nose while raising up our hands to the side, holding it up on top, exhaling nice and long through our mouths, um, dropping our hands in front of us nice and slow. Here we go. Inhale through the nose. Hold. Exhale through the mouth. Again, up, hold, and down. One more time. Inhale, hold, exhale. Awesome job, guys. As always, thank you, thank you. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't yet. Let me know what you thought about this uh, workout. I want to know what part did you feel, your bicep, your calves, your shoulders, and don't forget to say hi to Buttercup. She'll be, you know, heartbroken if you don't. Anyway, I'll see you guys. Peace out. Here's to a healthier you from Illinois.